Multiple character consistency is now possible with one of my favorite AI tools. In case you're wondering, multiple character consistency is when two different people are kept consistent in a picture. And yes, it is now possible in open art, but it gets better. OpenArt's update makes it possible to generate AI videos with the best AI video model. Trust me, it's really good. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews on AI tools and also like the video. Let's get started. Okay, so now the tool that we're going to use for multiple character consistency, which is actually useful for AI influencers, and those of you who want to collaborate with this tool, you can actually do this without any hassle. Up until now, you'd need to create a special config UI workflow. Even that might not get you the result you want, but with this tool, you can do that. So just simply search for OpenArts AI. Don't worry, the link will be in the description. Now, for those of you who are new here, OpenArts has been one of my go-to AI hubs to access and generate AI images. From the last time I showed you the tool till this point, they have added a whole, and I mean a whole lot of features, which we are going to cover in this video. Now, what I mean by AI hub is that there are tons and tons of things you can do with just this platform. One of OpenArt's new additions is the image to video feature, and you're going to see how good it is. It actually utilizes the very best AI video generation model. Another thing is that you can generate in any style you want and explore over a hundred fine-tuned models. Now, these are just some of the models that I have privately trained. I think I've covered how to specifically train them on my channel, but that involves using a dataset. With their new features, you won't even need to create a LoRa to maintain consistency, which is actually mind-blowing. Now, these are some of the open arts models, and these are some of the community models here. For the open arts models, you can see that one of their latest additions is Flux Pro, which in my opinion is better than Flux Dev, although I can't say by how much, but Flux Pro is statistically better than Flux Dev, and you can't find it on other platforms like TensorArts. Other than that, there's also OpenArt SDXL, which is meant for uncensored images. Then there's Juggernaut Flux Brew, which is another fine-tuned model. Then there's Flux Realism, and there are others for anime and 2D styles, so you can just choose any of them. Now another feature that is very useful is the ultimate upscale. But yeah, let's get on with it and let me show you how the multiple character consistency works. Let's go here to create an image and it should present you with this interface. These are some of the works that I've done, but let me show you how it works. You can go here to model and select any that you want. I'm going to use Flux Pro for now. What you should do is go here and click on character, then click on prompt and reference and automatically it has tagged a character for us. You can just go here to click on character and you will see a full list of all the characters that you have created. So you can just use this list. After that, you can click here on add character and you can bring in another character. If you look closely here, we've tagged two characters that we have trained or created. Don't worry, if you want to create yours, I'll show you how to do that after this. Now just type in a prompt. So I've just typed in a simple prompt like this. Of course, if you want, you can enhance the prompt. Just click on enhance and as you can see, the prompt is much better now. Then choose the aspect ratio that you want. I think I'll go for landscape and click on create. Let's see how it does. So now it's done and it generated four images. Let's look at each. As you can see, it's done and it truly tried with this particular result. Now this is the second one. Again, consistent and realistic, though there's a bit of morphing here, but you can always regenerate it or pick from others. This one is also pretty decent and then this one is absolutely spot on. At the moment, of course, they just released this feature recently, so it's not 100% perfect, but I think that this is very, very decent, and it tried with this one especially. You can just easily download it. Then let's try with another set of prompts. Maybe just something like this. I won't enhance the prompt, I'll just leave it like this, just to really understand how good it can do without too many prompts. Actually, you can increase the number of images, so I'll just increase it to about six and then click on create. Let's see how it works. So now it's done, and I want you to take a look at the wonderful job it cooked. This is the first one we'll be looking at. Boy oh boy, look at what it cooked for us with pure consistency, realism, and sheer beauty. I think Open Arts did a wonderful job on this one. Let's check the next one. Obviously for this, I'd advise you to generate about four to five images. I can see this one is also good, however it's not as good, especially with the background and everything. Let's check out the other ones. Now this one is also very very good and very realistic. It's also pretty consistent, which is awesome. Then this one. Now this one is actually one of my favorites among the bunch because it's really really good. It did a good job. So now let me show you how to create your own character. That's very simple. Just go here to the characters section. Then simply click on create avatar and you'll see how easy it is. 
Now you can either start with a description, start with one image, or start with four images. Of course this one is more like Laura training, but we'll start with one image. Then I'll just give it a name. Then all you need to do is upload a portrait. So here I've got this image that I'm using, you just simply click on create, and everything should be done for you. It's literally just one click. So with that it's done, you can now click on create, now it'll lead you to this place, you can choose whether you want to put your character, or place the character on an image. But we'll just click on put reference to see how good it is. I'll just put in a prompt like this. Then you can choose the weight. Make sure key features are preserved, and increase the number of images. Then click on create. Now boy oh boy just take a look at this. Just look at how consistent and ultra sharp it is. This is wonderful, you can go ahead and even upscale it. You can choose 4x plus face, or you can generate certain variations of it. You can see how cool it is. Now you can also go here and add a character. Something like this. Then click on create. So it's done, and just look at how wonderful it did with this particular image, which is awesome. The best part is that you can go ahead and add it to image to video. This goes back to what I said earlier, that they're currently using the best video module. Actually you can access Kling or Minimax, but we all know Kling is ahead and is currently one of if not the best. Then you can go with 10 seconds, but for now leave it at 5. To really see how the AI understands the image, we won't add any prompts. I'll click on create. Okay so now it's done, and just take a look at what it cooked. Remember this is without a prompt. The quality looks sharp. Everything is so so good, which is awesome. Now let's try with a different image, and use a prompt for that one. So here I brought in this image, and then I'll just place in a prompt like this. You can adjust the creativity level if you want, but we won't do that. Just click on create. Okay so now it is done, and look at what it cooked. As you can see, it's very very good, with no weird morphing. So yeah, OpenArt is like your all-in-one AI tool, whether for video generation, character consistency, multiple character consistency, or image generation as a whole in different styles. Be sure to check out the link in the description, and subscribe for more AI videos like this.